Hi Taurus, welcome to your What Lies Ahead reading for June 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be in a general reading, <laughs> so it could be um, all work and no romance, or it could be a little bit of everything, um, just whatever falls out is what read, what is read. Also, I'm going to have a pick a deck or a pick a pile version of this as well in a separate video so check that out also if that is your flavor finally remember to say it at the beginning of the video <laughs> and at the end um, and I will also be doing a sneak peek or a little snapshot of three months and six months in this um, reading as well okay Taurus what lies ahead June 2020 for Taurus all right okay whoopsie Nine of Cups, yay for that. Looks like you finally got some sleep. <laughs> Ace of Wands, the Death card, Scorpio, don't panic. Okay. Knight of Swords, that could be Gemini or Aquarius. I said Gemini, so we'll go with that. Usually I read that as Aquarius. So I said Gemini, we're going with it. Strength card, that could be Leo. Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, get it, okay. We'll do three months and six months here in a, in a minute. All right, so let's see. Okay. All right, so hmm. interesting. Did you meet somebody new? Gracious. What's this? Oh, okay, do you have to end something? Hmm. Interesting. What's this Ace of Wands? Did you meet somebody new? <laughs> okay, what's this Death card about for Taurus? That one jumped. Eight of Cups. Okay, walking away. What's this death card about for Taurus? King of Pentacles, so that could be Virgo. Uh huh. nice. That's good. What's this Knight of Swords about? Because this is you knowing it's the right thing to do to, um, to end this. Not the new thing, the thing you're in. So what's this Knight of Swords about for Taurus? The devil, haha, <laughs> yay. Because the, this is you getting out from under a toxic situation, something that's unhealthy, or is it? Oh, wait a minute. Is this somebody new? You meet this person and the attraction is nuts. And because of that, you have to end what you're involved in because it's the right thing to do. Or is this you meeting someone new? Yeah. And, oh, is it a whirlwind? What's it, how about I get through the rest of the reading? What's this strength card about? Leo, uh, this could be Taurus, Aries, or Libra. What's this Two of Cups? Okay, be careful. What's this Two of Cups for Taurus? All right. Magician. Okay. You need to be careful. Have your fun, but have your wits about you. Because I think there's been some kind of um, dormancy here with sort of wondering if you're, you know, if there's a chance for you again or a romance. Maybe you've been single for a while or just what you came from was just so rote and routine and you're just like, ugh. Um, so a couple possibilities here. It could be that you met someone new and it's time to end a relationship that you have been in that just kind of wasn't going anywhere, but you were just in because you met somebody new. Um, it's, it's helping you to leave that relationship and the, the attraction is probably like insane. Like you guys are probably just really interested in each other physically. So that's possibility. Number one, number two is it's been a dry spell and you meet somebody new and it's great because it's gotten you out of this 
just being everything else about in your, about your life is really secure uh, and fine and, and going predictably and there's longevity and stability and you got all your ducks in a row but you don't have the relationship that you want and then here comes this really interesting person and the attraction is there and you're like yay I've been waiting for something like this this is what it should feel like this is what I want be careful we got the devil and we got the magician here and it's centered around somebody coming in immediately and knocking your socks off and you're thinking it's just like yes time you need time to figure out if it's this new person so you've got a relation you've got something ending it's either a dry spell ending or a relationship ending you got somebody new coming in that makes you happy knocks your socks off physically but be careful because it's too soon to have all those feelings about somebody. Even though you might want this, um, you know, you might want this to be what you've finally been waiting for here. Um, it's, it is simply too soon to th put all your eggs in one basket. And I know I'm preaching the choir when I say be careful because I know you're methodical. I know that this is about, um, you know, you're nothing if not prepared and patient. But the force is strong with this one. <laughs> and yeah. They're, they're going to have that something, something, and you're going to need to have your wits about you because you don't want it to end up in a repeat of what you're leaving. And there's something to be said for something being very exciting and new and different and fun. But there's also something to be said about being um, mindful during that or just, just having that other, you know, person on your shoulder saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, it's a good time to go home tonight and think about things rather than just go for it. That You can always go for it later. Just, you know what I mean? Just have your wits about you here. Okay. What's this wheel of fortune? Holy cow, Taurus, June. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's this wheel of fortune about for Taurus? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Please have patience. This is um, strength. This is Leo. This is going to, whatever this is, is going to take time to will out. And it feels really good right now. And it has a lot of potential and it's fun, but it needs to take time to bear out what the potential is as far as a reality. For potential to turn into reality and whatever that may be, it needs time. You need to have time and patience and comport yourself in the respectable way. So making sound decisions along the way when you're interacting with this person, because if they're up to no good or if they don't want you to have boundaries, if they just want you to be open to whatever and be spontaneous and just do all the things, and let's just be crazy. It's because. OK. When somebody comes in and knocks your socks off and wants to do the things and, and shake it up and not be boring and be spontaneous, the it, it could be considered love bombing when they're doing for you like nobody else ever has before when there's just that fit and that connection the love bombing is also someone being able to learn you they're learning you they're they're kind of getting you hooked on that that extra that they have that sets the stage then to hold you captive later on and to kind of have this control just saying so yes yay for passion but yay also for having your wits about you and, and giving it time to will out because when someone comes in like gangbusters and they want to just shower you and, and be that extra that you've never had before to kind of secure their position with you, they can't keep that up for very long without the dark side of that coming through, without that true intentions being shown. So that's why it's good to have, um, to let things take time, to let this new thing that is, you're really hopeful, but letting it take time so you can really see what's going on with someone and their intentions because you don't want it to lead to um, disappointment or you know feeling like it's your fault or feeling guilt or like what happened why didn't I why didn't they know life can't be one big huge love bomb you know what I mean so and there's a honeymoon phase sure but it I just I don't want you to get so entranced and just be like oh my gosh this is not like anything I've ever experienced Consider that that might be by design. Consider that they're learning you and finding out what makes you tick so that they can give you what you've never had before so that you'll in turn be in a position to supply for them, whatever that is. Just saying, I hate to be the curmudgeon and, you know, the older cranky pants aunt, but I, I just, I, this, I just want you to be careful. Okay, right. And also enjoy yourself. There's nothing wrong with that, but just be careful. 
What else for Taurus? Three months for Taurus. Three months. Taurus, three months. There's Taurus sneak peek. Three months. There's Taurus and three months sneak peek. Okay. The sun card. Okay, I like it. There's Taurus in six months. Where's Taurus in six months? So that's a sun card that could be Leo. Where's Taurus? In six? A lot of Leo here. Leo, Leo, Leo. The Emperor. So we got three months and six months. Hold on. Yep. All right. So what's this sun card about for Taurus? What's this sun card about? Whoopsie. For Taurus. Sun card for Taurus. High Priestess, okay, good, I like that. Because this is you having your wits about you. <laughs> this is you giving it the, high five. No, elbow bump, because we're not supposed to do that anymore. Okay, elbow bump. Because um, this is you giving it time. This is you doing the time. This is you having your wits about you and having your cake and eat it too. Enjoying yourself and, and having your wits about you. Being lost in wild abandon, but also leaving at midnight, you know? It's a sun card. So that you can think about things. Not getting caught up one foot on the ground. What's this sun card about? Okay. So, uh-huh. Good. Yay. Having your wits about you. Thinking about this person quite a bit. How in sync you feel. The, the kismet. That, that whole, like, just uncanny connection you might have. And because of that, thank you, you are giving it the time to have everything um, be discovered. You're enjoying yourself. Things are looking good. This is also the summer is spent with this person quite possibly. Um, and you have a great time and you're just really enjoying and you're feeling like this, where has this person been all my life? And it's just a, such a good fit. But you're also learning them and you're learning about them. That's the beauty of this too. And giving this time is that you're seeing them. Everything's out in the open. Everything's illuminated. You're seeing them for what it is. You're enjoying yourself, but you're watching also. You're also learning. Good for you, Taurus. Elbow bump. You Good for you. What's this emperor about? For Taurus, what's this emperor about? Death card, so this could be Aries, Scorpio. What's this Emperor about? For Taurus, what's this Emperor about? The world, okay, so, all right. Okay, so this could be that you have, that there's this, I wanna say waiting period, I'll go with that, but it could be that, that come December, is there distance involved? Do they leave? Interesting. Okay, so come December, this could be a breakup. This could be you two being on hold because of what's going on um, in both of your worlds per se, like holidays, festivities, um, family, you know, visits, whatever. Or there's a resurgence with what's going on now globally, you know, flu season, whatever. It could be that that kind of puts things on hold. Or this could be that you two have settled into a groove and it is what you thought it would be. You've given it time. It's the end to a lonely, not a lonely cycle, but just a single cycle. And you two have come full circle and it's time to take things to the next level. So this could be putting things on hold because of a busy December for both of you. This could be an end to the relationship you know, that where you're just like, well, you know what? I'm back to being under myself because it's, I've come full circle. It was fun while it lasted, but we're done. Distance could be an issue. Um, or it could be that you two have settled into a pattern with each other. Like there's a common trust and respect and you're a bona fide couple. And it's really kind of broken this whole cycle of you doing things largely for yourself and under yourself. You have a true partner and this is like the complete, this is completion here. This is achievement and completion. So a couple of possibilities here. Time will tell. This feels like it's too positive to have it just be, um, but then, it, I mean, a lot can happen in three months, right? So this is either you back doing your own thing again, having been like, well, I had my fun, but I'm doing my own thing again, or you've settled into sort of this 
um, really secure companionable trust and reliance and interdependability with some an interdependency with someone and it's like there's a new out with the old in with the new and things are as it should be a couple of possibilities there okay okay I like this a lot can happen in three months because this is really positive but a lot can happen in in three months and it feels like because of all this it feels like it's too I don't know. I mean, again, a lot could happen. It just doesn't feel like it would take a turn like that. Like it, it would all of a sudden go back to Eeyore status. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, where it's kind of, you're very independent and doing your own thing. And, um, yeah. Hmm. What else for Taurus? Okay. Page of Pentacles and Knight of Cups. So I'm not turning that either way because I, I, I think it's important. I think it's significant that it's on its side like that. So Page of Cups um, in Limbo, shall we say, um, and Knight of Cups. Huh. So this is, you're just kind of, there's like no, I don't know, is this what you're leaving behind? Is this what you're leaving behind to get involved with somebody new? Because it, there was never, the interest in someone was gone. There wasn't an offer. It was just kind of like you were with them. It, it's this right here. It's, it's, there's stability, but there's no life. There's no interest. There's no meh. And then this comes in. Holy cow. Look out. You know? And, and then it's your, the potential's there and you know what you got to do. You end it. You do the right thing. You're, you're honorable about it. But there's this, you know, and you're going whole hog into this one. It's like, oh my gosh, there's so much potential. It's so exciting. So this is going to be significant. This is either an end to this ho-humness that you felt in a relationship up until you met this person. And then it's going strong and we're good. And it's never to return to this. Things are complete now. It's as it always should be. Or something goes awry with this connection. It, it just isn't meant to be. And you're back... Um, still in a very secure position, but by yourself. I mean, what, which is it? But time will tell, right? We're talking six months. But um, for right now, this I think this speaks to the relationship that you're gonna be leaving because it's just, there's just nothing there. It's, it's a lackadaisical offer. It's kind of, or it's involvement just because it's more of the same. It's something you've always done or how you've always done the relationship. There's nothing new. It's run its course, it's time, and then this person comes in and it's like, okay, you're doubling down on that. Yeah, it's time. Um, or this could be just breadcrumbs and you've largely been by yourself in an existing relationship. You two have been so in, so independent that there's just, it's kind of faded and there's like a bread, there's never that offer because of breadcrumbs, you know? Two very independent people. And there wasn't a whole lot of there there, but then this new thing comes in. Good gracious, look out. Hold on to your socks. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? Taurus. Hmm. Three of Pentacles. Okay. What else for Taurus? <laughs> Blessing. Yay. Okay. So nice. Okay. So get ready because it's coming because it's you again, largely independent. You kind of doing your own thing. Very good at what you do. All other areas are secure um, because you wouldn't have it any other way, quite frankly. So everything else about your life is good. It's just that, that the romantic part is has kind of gone stale, whether you've been single for a long time or it's the end of a stable, but very dull, lifeless connection just because they're you two weren't really connecting anymore. Um, you never got past a certain point. And so largely independent, doing your own thing. And then all of a sudden here comes this beautiful blessing of getting getting the blood circulating again, <laughs> if nothing else. <laughs> because it remains to be seen what this is. There's some different variations of this here. Because of how positive this is, it feels like there's a settling in with this new person and all is right with the world a new normal with this person, not like this, but it could just be that you decide 
I've had my fun. I want to go back to doing my own thing and, and very much independent again. Okay. All right, Taurus. Um, I hope to see you in the next reading. I hope this was helpful. So get ready for June incoming. Um, a lot. Incoming a lot. <laughs> um, thank you for stopping by. Much love to you. And thank you for your service if you're an essential worker or first responder. Okay, Taurus, you take care.